Hi, welcome to my channel and welcome to a special spirit message that just came through this morning that was really interesting that I wanted to share and put on my channel. And it was all about how to know your many psychic abilities and not to be limited to a few. And so the message was, it, it basically became a natural top 10 list kind of, of many spiritual psychic abilities that people put in a label. And I will share a few instances and examples, but the spirit message, I'm going to put it all below in the description box, and it was really interesting. The spirit message was basically not to limit yourself to a box or a label because most likely you have experienced your psychic abilities all over the place that do not fit clearly into one description or label. And this is natural and amazing and more and more people are figuring out just like you that you just don't have one. You have several or many and you dab into it all the time and some more than others and some more strongly in one part of your life than others and some in periods in your life more than others. But there are many, many abilities, quote unquote abilities that you have and have experienced. And here are a few that it just became a natural top 10 list, but it's just how um, they're describing. So number one, premonitions. You know what is gonna happen next, just knowing the answer, or you just have a clear knowing of truth or what's about to come. Two is feeling the energy of a person, place, or object. Energy shifts can be felt. You can feel people, weather, negative, positive energy very strongly. Three, sensing the energy of someone telling a lie or a truth. You can read people. Four is seeing visions of what will happen in the future and then it comes true. Five, seeing, feeling, or hearing spirits, loved ones that have passed on. Six was your intuition is so strong it really becomes your compass, this connection to your higher self and spirit. Seven is just sensing danger and immediately knowing. Um, eight, being saved by near death. Nine was telepathic communication between loved ones. And 10 was channeling spirit, knowing and sensing you're not alone when you're producing something, whether it be art, music, auto writing, um, wherever. But these are just a few of the main ones that you may be experiencing. And the point of the whole spirit message was to not only know that, yes, this is true, you have them and, and have been experiencing them and do so all the time and not to discount it, but most importantly, that don't insist on a label or a box for yourself when describing yourself as you have more abilities than what you label. For example, if you feel energy, you may say you're sensitive or empathic or an empath, but you're so much more. You may say you're clairvoyant, but you are so much more. So the whole message is really about accepting you are so much more and to welcome that all in and no labels, no limits. And that was the message. I love this message. And so I wanted to post it on my channel because very often you hear people describe themselves and they label themselves, oh, I'm this, I'm that, I'm sensitive, I'm an empath, I'm clairvoyant, I'm clairsentient, I'm a medium, I'm this, I'm that. But the truth is that we all dabble in bits and pieces and have psychic abilities all over the place. And sometimes um, you'll find periods of your life where one ability is more heightened than the other, or in some aspect of your life, you tap in strongly to more a bit one one of your abilities more than the other but for the most part we've all experienced a lot of these and um throughout our lives and the spirit message was don't be so quick to label yourself or put i know we have definitions for things in our world and on, on this planet and we like to put a title or a label or describe ourselves in some way but um they were saying that if you can Get yourself out of a label and a descriptive uh, of yourself. You'll know that you actually have access and use a tremendous amount of different kinds of psychic abilities and that you're tapping into it all the time and not to discount it. So, um, you know, if you're empathic and then you start, uh, you know, tapping into these other abilities, not to um, discount it and not almost feel like you have to put yourself in now another label or another box or another, it's no limits, no limitations. What did they say? No labels, no limitations, no labels, no limits. And so they're urging us to just open ourselves up and accept all the psychic abilities that you experience, all the abilities that you use and dabble in and welcome them all in and um, 
you know, know that you have access to all of them and you probably recognize a lot of these in your life and you don't necessarily have to try to fit yourself into a label or a description. You'll even notice, I mean, they want me to share like on my channel, in my about page, I don't describe myself at all. I don't try and put a label at all. And they actually showed me um, that I don't do this. I never really tried to do this. And um, I guess they wanted me to include that here because yeah, it's interesting. You have to, if you're offering your services, describe yourself in some way, but on a very personal level between you and spirit, don't put a box or a label or a description on you and your abilities because you have access to them all. And um, you know, what I mentioned and more and not to put a label on anything because you're limitless in this ability. And um, these abilities are, you'll be finding them and welcome them in and don't put yourself in a box or describe yourself in any one area because um, almost in doing that you're limiting yourself in a way because then you're feeling like that's my strength that's my ability like a superpower and that's all I have when you have so many other superpowers um, you have so many other superpowers um, yeah uh, that's what they want to say so yeah welcome them all in no limits no labels and enjoy them all okay take care bye bye